Well, hello there, chaps and chapasses. It seems to be a, quite a while since we had a look at the MK Maker one. That time we ha had a bit more of a look at that. Um, obviously, we've had, you know, I did build the my own three. I have a three D printer. It's amazing, the Tronxy X three, which is okay. Um, would I recommend it? Probably not really. Um, it's just, you know, it's too problematic. Uh, I think there are errors in the design, uh, which is why I'm doing this anyways. So, but it will get me there. And in fact, I've been doing quite a lot of uh, iterations where, you, can, you know, you can print something out, see if it's working. It's not right. Tweak it and print it out again. And when, it, you know, when the thing's right there, it's brilliant. You can just crack on. So last time I was telling you about my kind of different ideas about, uh, you know, having kind of, as I call it, a leg at each corner um, to give a really good stable build platform. Uh, and this time we're going to go back to looking at the frame and it's all change. Now, one of the problems um, I, I was thinking, oh, this would be great. What you can do is you can have a nice push fit like this. This that fits nicely and it's sort of stuck there. And I was thinking you could do the same thing with these, where you you get you know push that in. Oh, it'll be stuck. You know, you nice firm. Well, it's very wiggly on this. And part one thinking is that this isn't just for me. This is for a whole bunch of people. Hopefully, people out there are going to think this is worth doing, and it's going to be of use to you. Well, this stuff, it's made, it's manufactured, obviously. Um, manufactured things vary. You know, this manufacturer, this particular run, yes, it'll all be the same, it's all cut off one length, but another manufacturer could look very different. So, yeah, that's a problem, and I'm kind of thinking of possibly gluing it in place. You could actually buy some Gorilla Glue, which is probably overkill, and it doesn't mean you can't undo it once it's done there. Uh, but I'm thinking also something like, you know, maybe silicon sealant in there, or more sensibly, throw this stupid idea out. Don't have pretty feet, pretty bits and pieces. Either have a simple thing where it's sort of screws through not with the blue fancy bits but just with a straight more straightforward um, cube type design where it just screws into and obviously we can thread that or even again i'm thinking like almost a self-tapping site scenario would perhaps look using wood screws that would just grip enough into that or the tech 2c type solution of having those really good aluminium angle brackets but they're not ex they're, they're not cheap they're expensive so Lots of ideas. There'll be more. This is James, my friend, who was behind the camera before. And now he's going to show just how good this frame that we built really is. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That wasn't one, one accidental lean on it, and uh, it's not going to be anymore, is it? That's 15 hours of printing really, down really the drain. Yeah. Twenty twenty extrusion number ten screw, uh, which is five mil. Does it go nicely in there? I'm thinking because it's a wood screw, not intended for aluminium. Does it? Will it bite? Will it ruin the aluminium, or will it just go in and just sort of work? That's the, the question. Obviously, the best plan is to use a proper screwdriver not this with only pen knife but actually that is looking good I mean that is properly in there so there could be a way to go <laughs> <laughs> 